Hi guys, we're Rover46 here, welcome yourselves back to Ride 3 on the Xbox One X. Let's continue with our DLC category volume playthrough. We're going on to the second volume today, which is a trip to Italy. And um, the bikes I'm going to be using are going to be all the bikes which are in the pack. I'm not going to use any other bikes other than the ones that are in the Italy pack. So, we're going to Imola to begin with. We can use the uh, Bermuda FB8 Ferrano. Or the Ducati. I'm going to go for the Bermota. So here we go at Imola. See how we get on with this one. Ten events to do. So uh, I hope you guys are comfortable. Got yourselves a cup of tea. Maybe something to eat. Because it's going to be a long video. I'm going to do all ten events. Oh, hello. Boxed in. Okay. Get up the inside of them, thank you. Gone in a bit too hot. Way too hot. Well, kind of messed that up. Lost two places. It's not the best of starts. Three laps around here. World Superbikes, they came here at the weekend. Um, unfortunately, they didn't get to do the race two because of rain. I mean, I know it's a, a dangerous track and everything, but... Um, I know a lot of the riders weren't happy that they weren't racing because it seems to be at the moment that every time it rains uh, they don't want to race or the organisers just cancel the race. So hopefully that won't happen again. But Jonathan Ray managed to get back on the top step and uh, yeah, dominated the first race and uh, the second race as well. So he'd done a good job. Great to see him back on the top step. I know Bautista has never raced there before, but he had done a test and obviously all the uh, free practice and qualifying and that. So uh, he was uh, pretty up to speed. Uh, Chaz Davis as well. He, it was good to see him on the podium again. So uh, it is kind of the, the track where the championship was definitely going to, you know, take a turn. Uh, it is a shame they didn't race in the wet because Bautista was struggling in the wet and obviously... Um, he's yet to race in the wet in World Superbikes on that bike. So, yeah. Oh, wait, no, we're not doing the chicane. We're going straight over. <laughs> Need to concentrate. So, yeah, it's... Uh, oh, there we go. I just went straight to the back of him. Yeah, so World Superbikes is uh, heating up a little bit. I mean, we could go to the next run and then Bautista will be back on top. But um, hopefully Jonathan Ray can take a bit of that momentum with him and a, obviously a bit more confidence. He knows that he can beat Bautista on that bike now. So yeah, looking forward to the rest of the season. Also a quick shout out to Tommy Bridewell as well. What a fantastic job he done. He uh, got flown in very late. Eugene Laverty had a... A horrible crash aboard his uh, Ducati Panigale V4R. Ended up um, injuring himself and was no longer able to continue the weekend. So uh, that was in FP2. So they flew in Tommy Bridewell from British Superbikes. And uh, only got to do like a couple of laps in FP3 because they were still rebuilding the bike from Lavity's crash. They didn't get a lot of time on it. So his first proper session on the bike was qualifying. Um, so he was like, oh hello, come on, out the way. So not only was he trying to learn the, the, the bike, is obviously different spec to the one he uses in uh, BSB. But he's trying to learn the track as well. I tell you what, considering how little time he had to adapt and learn the track and that, he'd done a fantastic job. Scored points in both the first race and the Super Bowl race. So, uh, yeah, really impressed with uh, Bridewell. Fantastic. And, uh, yeah, just uh, obviously getting quicker and quicker as the races were going on because he was learning more and more. But, yeah, really good job done. We're on the final lap. We are in the lead. So let's see if we can pull away and stay there. At the moment we can. But whether it's going to be short-lived, I don't know. We will find out very soon though. I do actually like this bike. It's a pretty quick 
bike I've, I've actually used it in some of the career videos and I know it was quick when I was using it in a, I can't remember what, what volume it was in but when I used it in a, one of the volumes it was a lot quicker than the other bikes so yeah good bike like I said in this video on the all the different events I will aim to use all the bikes in the pack so I'll use the the Ducati next and then we'll see uh, what other bikes are available because there's going to be some different bike class events coming up um, so it's not literally just the two bikes in the Italian pack um, there are others in it it's just uh, they're in different bike categories to this one so just a run to the line we haven't got to worry about the chicane we're just going straight on that is going to be race one done when we get to the line eventually there it is there we go all done and there's our achievement for uh is that for winning or just getting on the podium yeah winning an event in uh, a trip to italy pack sweet five stars nine races left to go let's get on with the next one So Magni Court, like I said, I will be using the Ducati this time round. 851 SP2. So spec wise, fully upgraded, just like the uh, YB8. But um, yeah, the, the specs compared to the Bermote are not as great, not as good. So gonna have to uh, try our best because if we're up against uh, some of the promoters in this one then we may struggle especially for top top speed but uh, we'll see how we get on currently sitting in seventh place we can use a bit of slipstream if we can get close enough we will be picking up a little bit so we are gaining now there's a bit of a gap opening between fifth and fourth which I'm a little bit concerned about so we're up the inside we're into fifth place, so yeah, that gap's pretty much gone. They are accelerating better, though. So this could be hard work, this one. Three laps. We're going to have to do most of our, our, our making up on the brakes. And at least we're up to fourth now, so we're nearly on a podium. Can't really stay in the slipstream, mate. As we go, that's a bemote up. Brakes. That's a Ducati ahead of me. So he's doing all right. Yeah, I'm going to have to do it all on the brakes. the chicane oh okay i don't usually attack on the entrance and i wasn't actually planning to but we managed to turn a little bit tighter went for the gap we were through i tend to get them on the exit through the chicane that's a, a promoter as well in, in the lead so we might struggle to get him no don't be doing that you've just messed me up now that's gonna let him get away a little bit more on slipstream and then get him on the brakes we might be able to get him before actually there we go we're into second can we hold it though yes we did hold it so that's good we're back on the leader now it is literally all happening on the brakes for us slipstreaming but nothing happening on the brakes through we go now this is going to be interesting to see if he can come back past really quickly. Because I don't know. We might be alright, especially if we're in the way. Because if we're in the way, then yeah, he's just going to slow down when he's right behind us. But I don't know, a little, little gap appearing. Still got another lap. We've got second lead, yeah. I think we're done. We've pretty much done it already. 
So this one, not actually as difficult as I thought it was going to be. Especially when that other Ducati came past us through that, uh, that long right-hander. I thought it was going to really mess us up, but we managed to do it on the brakes and we're in the lead. Over a second lead. 1.6, yeah. We're good. Just get through this final lap and then that'll be another one done. Another win. To the straight he will probably close up a little bit but not as much as he needs to it's not going to close in by one and a half seconds that's for sure 1.2 so closing about 0.4 of a second so almost half a second but yeah we will start extending again very soon okay, to the right and the left I'm going to guess that's maybe, yeah, I was going to say two seconds and it is pretty much exactly two seconds, but I didn't say it quick enough. Yeah, this bike ain't too bad. I, I definitely prefer the Bermota. But yeah, this one's alright. So... Just got to get through the last couple of corners. And then that's this one done. Completed. And then I wonder if we're going to get a different bike category in the next couple of races to use different bikes. Run to the line. And we are done. First place. Is that going to be another five stars for us? It is. Cool. Okay, so Billown Circuit. Oh, it's in the wet. Oh, here we go. Different bikes. That's not a uh, Italy pack. Oh, there we go. So, in the wet. How is this one going to perform? I don't, know. I don't know how many laps we've got to do. Here we go. Two laps. Oh, hello. Those two strokes get off the line really well. I'll tell you what, though. This bike is quicker. Look at that. Just power past them all. Up to second. wonder if the leader's on the same bike. Possibly. So the two strokes initially got the jump off the, the line, but once this bike started kicking in, got past them. We're just going to have to go careful around here, especially in the rain. Come on, go a bit quicker, please. Don't want to go into the back of you. Got it stops, that's fine. Wheelie, get down. Thank you. Lost a bit of time doing that wheelie, but it's fine. We got a lot of time to to get it back. We already have. Can we get past? We're side by side. Come on. No. Still side by side. There we go. Eventually we're past. I have actually used this bike before. When the game very first came out, I did do a little bit of time trial with this bike, but I haven't used it since. I think I took a screenshot with it as well, but I can't quite remember. One point four second lead near the end of the first lap as well. So I think we've pretty much got this one wrapped up as well. Just going to make sure I don't crash. Okay, the 
line is there. So final lap, one and a half seconds. We're going to have to break a little bit earlier this time, obviously. Carrying a bit more speed. There we go, nicely done. I'll tell you what, he's caught me up a little bit. That's not one and a half second lead anymore. What's it going to say at the split? Point 0.7. So our lead is pretty much halved. Oh, I thought we were going in a bit too quick then, but it was fine. Stop panicking. Let's keep it on going. We are going to start pulling away even more now. Especially for the next corner, which is where we gain the lead in the last lap. One and a half seconds now, that's going to go up to at least two. By the next split, he's disappeared off the map now. He will enter again very soon. There he is. And there he goes. So the next split should be coming up soon. Two seconds. Over three. Almost four. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. That was so close to a crash. It was so close that my rider actually completely disappeared for a moment because the uh, camera went funny. But, uh, yeah, we're done. <laughs> He shocked himself, he turned invisible for a split second. He's a magician. Anyway, five stars again. On to the next one. So, we've got Francia Corta. Oh, use the same bike again. S1R Lightweight Race Edition. Yeah, none, none of the others are from the Italy pack. Stats aren't too bad though, especially the RGV 250R. But nah, we'll stick with this one. So actually, I just had a thought. Around here, there's not that many straights, so the two strokes might be a bit more competitive. We're definitely better off the line. And now we start going past them. And we're up to fourth place. Oh, spinning up the rear on the brakes. Oh, no. Okay, we've just immediately lost those positions. Up the inside again for the chicane. No. Usually you always get the AI on the brakes into the chicane. Yeah, we've got a fight on our hands here. And that's a two-stroke there. Slide in the rear. Come well, on, mate, I need to hurry up and get past you, otherwise the leader's going to piss off and I'm not going to be able to catch him. That was a crap exit. Uh-oh, we could be in trouble. Can we shove up the inside? Yes, we can. Have we got it stopped? Wide. He's on the wrong side, though. Okay. Finally, we are up to second. And if he's on the same bike like he was in the last race, we might struggle to catch him here. 1.1 second lead. Come on. 0.8. Okay, he's already come down a few tenths. Yeah, we're almost on the back of him, actually. Wasn't expecting to catch him this quickly. hot into the chicane. It's fine. We've still got another lap as well, so the closer we can get to him on this lap, the better. 
This means we have to do less work on the final lap apart from get past him. Come on. Alright, need a good exit out of here. It's the last lap, it was pretty bad. brakes making it up on the brakes a bit wide again right it's going to be about the exit at the final corner and then try and slipstream yes this looks good slipstream him slipstream him we're not going to get by the line but we are going to get past now thank you very much that's the lead oh no maybe it's not spoke too soon a slight better exit up the inside thank you very much we're back in the lead again Hard on the brakes into the chicane 0.3 of a second lead and through the left oh, spinning up that rear again it's got a lively rear but we are pulling away almost a second lead now so we're looking good. Just a couple of corners left to go. Oh, that was a couple of corners. Yeah, we got this one. Had to work a bit harder for this one. We weren't able to get in the lead and pull away too much. In fact, we still haven't really pulled away that much. Here comes the line. Done. That was good though. Enjoyed that little fight. Good whilst it lasted. Three stars for that one. Alright, on to the next one. So, Valalunga. Oh, okay. I'm thinking Jakati. So, yeah. I decided to use the Jakati on this one. And then use the Bermota on the next one. Because we're going to need the speed because it's a Porto Mayo and uh, it's got a long straight on it so that uh, the motor is definitely going to come in handy. So we use the Ducati round here where hopefully not having as much speed won't hinder us too harshly as we go into the lead. Oh the rear almost went. Now we're in the lead okay how long is this going to last though because uh, few of them are on the motors so they may come past i can hear them they are gaining i have to break as late as possible that's way too late off track yeah we've lost the lead come back on in third that's another ducati just ahead of us we can outbreak him we will outbreak him there we go no he's not having it just let me pass Thank you. Ooh. Okay, so we've got to try and get this guy now. Stop it. Oh, up the inside through the left. Bit of a block pass, but it worked. Excellent. I had to do something there. I just had a quick glance at the minimap and someone must have had a crash or something because they are miles behind. Right at the back. Alright, so that is going to be lap one done. I've got a feeling it's not over yet. Well, it's obviously not over yet because we've got two laps to do. But you know what I mean. Half a second lead. Yeah. He's not that far behind. And he's got someone in close proximity. So... We can't afford to slack off. Half a second lead. So I don't want to be out breaking myself this time into the next corner. We've got a little lead now. Get it on the brakes. Come on. Maybe a little bit too early on the brakes that time. But I just didn't want to go off track again. 0.7. These two behind are really close to each other. Tell you what, if the guy in the Ducati can get past him, then 
obviously he should be able to slow him down a bit which will help me out point seven still well, we haven't lost anything but we haven't gained anything either so getting a good exit through here Good run through the final corner into the start finish. It's time to start the final lap. Let's hit the inside cones there. Oh, bit of grass, bit of grass tracking. It's fine. It's all good. Oh, a bit squirrely on the brakes. 1.2 second lead. I'm feeling alright. I was a bit, you know, going to test out the Ducati around here. And if I wasn't able to do it, I was obviously going to have to use the Bermota. But I really wanted to save the Bermota for Porto Mayo. Just because of that long start-finish strength coming out of that final corner. So that's what we're going to be using next. So far so good. We're still not that far ahead. That is less than 0.7 of a second now, surely. No, okay. It's 1.2. Stop panicking, it just looked closer than what it actually is. Beautiful lines. Through the final corner for the final time. Another one done. Another one done. Five stars or three stars? Got to be five that one, surely. What are you saying, stars? What are you saying? Five stars. Thank you very much. All right. So, Porto Mayo. Algarve. Like I said, I will be using the Bermota for this one. We need the speed. We need the speed. Here we go. Three laps. This has got to be another five star. -er. I should probably check before I start the events, but never mind. So, currently fourth. Fourth on my Bermota. YB8 Ferrano. Oh, hello, hang on. Second gear. That wasn't good. I needed to be in first then. <laughs> Alright, we need to be in first for this one then. So we need to remember to use first gear a lot more. Because second gear is just too long. Yeah, we've just gone from using the Ducati to obviously this one, and the gearing is completely different. Oh, there we go. The inside didn't get it stopped though. I thought he was going to come back past. Oh, no, thanks for that. See, he's on a Bermota as well. Come on, come on. Up the inside. Nope. And exit. There we go. Up to third. Bit of work to do, but we should be able to get him through this final corner. Just get the uh, exit if we can. Have we got it? Yeah, I think we have. Slipstream as well. There we go. Second place. And we get the leader. Oh, that's too far back. Too far back. Yeah. 
Okay, on him. Way too hot. First gear this time. Much better. Now second gear through this corner. Try not to slide the rear too much. We should be able to get him. Slipstream. Pass we go. The motor's one, two, three at the moment. Wheelie. For the left kink. Can we pull away from the other Bermotas? Oh, he's right behind me still. If he's going to get me, it's going to be in the, uh, the right hand hairpin coming up in literally two corners time. With the next corner, this one. But I don't think he's close enough, so he'll definitely close in. But we've still got it. Keep it nice and tidy, spinning up the rear a little bit. 0.6, but I'm expecting that to go over a second by the time we get to the start finish line. Just because of what we can do at the final corner. easily over a second already over the line final lap 1.6 and we got it stopped for the first corner as well so that's the bonus all right just keep it upright we should be good. One point one. It's come down by half a second. It doesn't matter. A bit too wide there. So we've lost a bit more time. Can't really afford to do that too many more times in this lap. Again, another mistake. 1.4 though, that's fine. Okay, one corner left to go, and it's going to be another win. Run to the line. There we go. Sweet. Five stars? Gotta be. Surely. Three laps around there. Thank you very much. Five stars. On to the next one. So the next one. Okayama. Right. Is there... Because I had a different bike on the, uh, the front of that event. Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm going to use it. But we may need to change if it's not very quick. I'm a little bit sceptical about using it, but I'll go with it. The Filo Rosso. So. Magni Filo Rosso around here. Here we go. Wheelie. He's going to be using his uh, old school riding style on this one, where they didn't lean off as much. I'll tell you what, it's quicker than I was anticipating. Actually, this isn't bad. This isn't bad at all. 
I thought this was going to be dog slow. We're already up to second. Scratch that. We've just taken the lead. I thought that if there was going to be some promoters in this one, we were really going to struggle. But I tell you what, I am pleasantly surprised by this bike. Feels alright. Actually, it feels better than alright. It feels pretty damn good. Like I said, I was kind of expecting it not to be very fast and not to handle very well. But it feels and handles pretty good. And considering they don't lean off as much on these bikes, these older bikes, it's... Uh, yes, it's good. Final corner. That is going to be lap one done. I can't get over this bike actually. So I have to keep going, but yeah, I think we're going to be alright. Especially through the next couple of corners where the AI slow down through here. And they can go flat out. Nice. Very nice. 1.7 second lead. This one is in the bag and I've been very surprised. Yeah, what I was thinking is I, I was going to try it with this. And if it didn't turn out very well, I was obviously going to have to go back and use a promoter or something. But I'm glad that I haven't had to do that. There should be one more bike to use. So we've used the Bermotor, we've used the Ducati, we've used the SR1 lightweight, and now we've used this bike. And there's usually five in a pack, apart from obviously the three packs where there's just the one bike. But the premium packs have five bikes in them, so there is one more bike to use. I have to just keep scrolling through the bikes at every event remaining now and see if we can find it. Oh, hit the rev limiter. We're of course on the final lap. Like, the thing I like about this bike is that you can actually be quite aggressive with it and it takes it. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to be able to do this, that's for sure. Maybe I'm kind of lucky that it's like quite a tight and twisty track and we've got that uh, left right where the AI slow right down. But even still, I'm impressed. 4.2. There's a few corners left to go. And that's going to be another one ticked off the event. The volume. Through the final corner. Out we come. Run to the line. Job is a good one. There we go. All done. Cool. Five stars. Let's head off to the next race. So, Garda Lake. Ah, then we got a naked bike to use. Okay. So, I'm thinking using it again. I might use the Filo Rosso again, just because of how impressed I was in the last race. Yeah, let's do it. Let's use it again. So, Garda Lake. At night, using the uh, Fulo Rosso. Here we go. Just the two laps around here. 
obviously a bit of a longer circuit anyway. And then we've got two naked events. Or two naked bike events, I should say. Not two literally naked events. Um, so yeah, that is where the last bike will come in. So through the corner of many waterfalls. And we're in second. Oh, have we got the lead? We've snuck into the lead. Not on the brakes. Oh, no, I've been hit. I've been hit. That's sent me a little bit wide. Try going around me rather than trying to go through me. You might be a little bit more successful. I think he's gaining. I think his bike is quicker. Is he going to hit the wall though? No, he didn't. Okay. Good kink. Nice. On the brakes through the hairpin out we come usually get a better exit than the AI through there anyway so we have definitely extended our lead again yeah even around here the Fila Rosso feels really good definitely amazed very impressed Let's just keep it going though. So we've still got one lap to go. I remember to break at the end. Otherwise we're going to be in a whole heap of trouble. Yeah, that was good. A bit wide on the exit, but other than that, all good. Run to the line. We've got one lap left to go. Stop for turn one. He's closed in a little bit. But I don't think it's going to be enough through the corner of many waterfalls for the final time. All good. So yeah, we will be using the final bike in the pack in the, uh, the last two events. Which are both naked bike events. Wheelie. One point three second lead. All good, all good. Tell you what, they are closing in. One point two. Yeah, they've only really closed in. Tenth or so. Now we should extend that a bit, and especially out of this corner. Yeah. Last little bit of the track to do. And we'll be done. And that will be it for this bike. We've already done our last races with the Bermota and the Ducati.
Yeah, like I said, we've got one more bike to use. Just scrape the wall there. Just gotta wait for the line. Job done. Two events left to go. One bike left to use. Five stars. Thank you very much. Let's get on with it. Penultimate round time. Here we go, Cadwell Park. This is a time trial. We get to use a different bike. Okay, so what we got? What we got to... Oh, okay, it's an Aprilia. Just double check it is just the one bike it is. Okay. Got to do a 138.5 for three stars aboard our Aprilia. Okay, let's see how we go. Here we go. Live lap. Cross the line to start our flying lap. We do it on our first flying lap as well. Obviously we don't get any indication of how we're actually doing until we go across the start finish line. But if we had already done a lap and our time wasn't good enough then at least we'd have a little bit of uh, knowledge of how well or bad we're doing. the mountain the hall bends how are we doing time wise coming up to 120 yeah final corner are we going to do it I think we will yeah, 134.511. Three stars. One race left to go. And again, we'll be using the Aprilia. Tenerife. Alright, let's have you. Just double check again that we haven't missed anything. Nah. Aprilia again. Come on then, let's get it over with. Here we go. Oh, just two laps around here, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all, I can deal with that. But what can we do aboard this Aprilia? So far so good. Certainly currently sitting in third. Oh, hello boys. Coming through. I don't think we're going to stay here for much longer. They're right on me. Yeah, just got completely sandwiched by them both. Okay, now we've got a little gap. We've pulled away a tiny, tiny bit. Point six, we're going wide though. Going wide, going wide, going wide. 
can hit the barriers, that's fine, but we have lost a bit of time. They're not that far behind. Just need to get that left hand kink, or the two left hand kinks nailed. Here comes the first one. That's fine. The next one will be coming up very soon. Here it comes. Yeah, fine. Still got a bit of a gap, not quite a second yet. Tell you what, they are closing in a little bit more. corner time and we've got one lap left to go oh hang on no don't you dare oh I've hit the dirt a little bit he's going to come fast is he we've got by the line so we're still in the lead no he's not come past right it's not over yet Still got some work to do. So, not long left to go, but we have pulled away a little bit more. Copy over a second by now, surely. Yes, it is 1.4, almost one and a half second lead. But we lost quite a bit of time in the next hairpin. This time. Oh, no, that was worse. That was worse than the first time. We've lost so much time there. Completely messed that one up. We lost time through here last time as well. And again, exactly the same. They're almost on me again. Wow, that was a crap couple of corners and that has really cost us. Don't want to be losing the lead at this part in the lap. We need to try and re-extend that lead, especially for the, this corner. Pulling away a little bit. Now I'm a little bit concerned about that final corner if we don't have a big enough lead. I'm a little bit concerned. I really don't think that's going to be enough. I don't. Point six, that's what it was last time. Oh, it might be close. Last time we came through here, we had about 0.6 of a second lead. Oh, I don't know. We need to nail this final corner. I guess we're not going to as wide as last time, but it's still going to be pretty close. He's right there, but I think we're going to get it. Yes, we are. Whoo, that was uh, a little bit concerning, but we've done it in the end. Emperor reached first position in all events in the A Trip to Italy pack. So we've done that, and that one will be finishing on the podium. Thank you very much. Five stars. We are done with this DLC pack. A trip to Italy. This is our new bike, Kawasaki. 
Well, there we go, guys. I said it was going to be a long video, this one. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. That's another DLC pack done. Cool. Ten events completed. Excellent. Well, guys, there we go. A trip to Italy is completed. So thank you all so very much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. And I shall see you guys in the next video. See you.